Jill, and I work for ISU Extension and Outreach. I am a summer educator for Cooking and the Arts, and today we will be doing the Paper Picasso Camp. In your clover crate, you will find several sheets of origami paper. Origami means folding paper and is the Japanese art of paper folding. The goal of an origami is to transform a flat sheet of paper into a sculpture through folding and sculpting techniques. The use of cutting or glue is not considered to be an origami. Paper. Today we will be making a fish out of your origami paper. To start, you will fold your paper upward in half and make sure you get a nice crease. So, now you have a mountain fold because it looks like a mountain. And then you have a valley fold because B for valley. Step one is to start by folding your paper into a triangle diagonally. And then you will unfold it and then you will go this way as well. You should see two larger triangles and two smaller triangles with all the creases. Now you're going to fold the square in half and then you should unfold it. Now you're going to put it into mountain view and you should have two bigger triangles on the side. Okay, so now you are to the point where you, where you fold in the triangles. And this may take a couple tries. So you're going to have a crease there and have a crease here. You want this going inside. Now you're going to go on the other side and you're going to push that in as well. And it is kind of tricky, so it might take a couple tries. And now you have this triangle in and this triangle in. So now you're just going to press down onto your triangle. And now you have one big triangle. Now you're going to get the top layer and fold it to the right and put it against the crease. And you're going to get a nice little fold there. So it should like like that. Now you're going to get the top layer on the left side and you're going to put it underneath and fold it like this. And make sure you have nice creases. Now you can flip it over and you can see that you have a fish. Feel free to draw a face on your fish to add a little bit of creativity. Now I'm going to draw my face on my fish. And here is my fish. For your second activity, you're going to make an origami dog. Start by folding a square piece of paper diagonally. Make sure you get a nice crease. You can go over it with your fingers a couple times. You should now have a triangle. Next, fold the triangle in half by folding the left corner to the right corner. Unfold the fold you just made. Next, fold both corners of the triangle down at an angle to create the dog's ears. And it may overlap on the dog's ears, so that's just fine. Now, you're going to flip it over and you're going to have its chin be folded in because your dog doesn't want a pointing chin. And you will also put a fold on the top of its head. You should now have a dog. For our second activity, we will be exploring paper art basics. In your clover crate, you will find the following items. Stickers, scrap of paper, a blank card, buttons, glue, 
various amount of flowers, stars, ribbon, and scratch piece of paper. The supplies you will need from home will be markers, pens, and the scissors, and any other materials that you can think of. Paper crafting is a great way to use scraps of paper that may be too small for other projects. Giving cards is a great way to show people you're thinking of them. These are some pre-made cards. This card includes the design element of layering. This card includes different kinds of shapes. And this card includes different textures. These are some things to think about when making your card. Now we are going to get your sketch piece of paper out and we're going to be making cards. So I'm going to fold mine in half, acting like this is the front of my card and then this is the inside of my card. So on the front of my card, I want to have red, white, and blue. So then when I flip inside my card, I would like some stars all over. And then I'm going to write happy 4th of July on the inside. And then on the outside, I think to add more character to it, I'm going to have flowers here, and here, and here, maybe in the middle. And then I'll add some buttons just to make it more creative. So here's the front, and here is the inside of my card. So this is just my sketch.